welcome back. I thought I'd share another video of some track driving with my E30. Uh, this particular video is me having a little bit of a back and forth with a gentleman in a uh, Dodge Charger Hellcat. And I thought this was interesting because it's a prime example of a big heavy car. Uh, the Hellcat comes in at 4,500 pounds, has about 700 horsepower. Uh, my E30 is about 2,600 pounds and about 200 horsepower. Uh, and that's at the crank. And this makes a really good example of how those characteristics translate into performance on the track. With his car being extremely fast in the straights, and mine being very, very capable in the turns, thanks to its uh, low weight and its sticky tires. You'll be able to see him in my rear view mirror coming up, and I give him the point by. And there he is. Great looking car. Sounds awesome, too. You can see down the long straight, he gets quite some distance on me, and I am almost immediately reel some of that back in at least. Um, if not most of it. And then, yes, yeah, so we roll down through the roller coaster. Um, I try to brake very late coming into Hog Pen here, so I'm, I'm hard on the brakes here and I let it, off, let it off and then get back on the gas as early as I can. Um, and that works out well for my car. Um, here you can see he gives me the point by. I wave him off. Uh, I was just going to let him go because, uh, you know, Hellcat. <laughs> But he wanted to let me uh, have it, I guess, which was awfully nice of him. Uh, and I, you can see right here how far he is away from me in the rear view. Uh, it's pretty close because I just passed him. So uh, off we go through uh, turn one and uh, head now into turn two. And you can see uh, right about here, I've gained a little distance on him already. And then through this turn, I tried to track out a little further, make a little more use of the available asphalt. Uh, so that's good. Um, uh, it was not something I was consistent with through all my all my laps in each of the sessions. And then right here, you can see how much distance I've gained. Which is pretty good for a modest E30 with an M50 swap, uh, considering he's got 700 horsepower and probably a lot more tire than I've got. Uh, I'm probably doing about uh, 85 to 90 through here. That was another good one where I'm trying to track out, make the most of the tarmac. And to the S's. Sorry, not S's. Oak tree. See a little dust up there from someone dropping a tire. I think it's a Cayman that's up ahead of me. You can see I keep looking in my rear view. Uh, I want to make sure I'm not holding him up because if he wants to get around me, I want to make sure I give him the point by. Uh, try to be respectful uh, track driver, respectful uh, as someone that drives a slow car in a fast run group. And a second here. Uh, Take a just quick look in the rear view mirror and you can see how close he is. Just keeping a respectful distance because he didn't want to didn't want me to feel like I needed to let him by. Uh, so make it through uh, the roller coaster and hog pen again. Doing my hardest to uh, get some speed in there, but, you know, little old German cars only do so much. And so once again, coming into turn one, uh, we can take another quick look in our rear view and see that he's keeping that same distance uh, on the straights. Again, not putting the pressure on me to have to give him a point by just so that I can catch him in the turns again. That was super nice of him, and uh, when we met up afterwards, I thanked him profusely for being for doing that um, because that's not always the case with a lot of a lot of drivers of these uh, really fast cars on track days but you can see a little opposite lock there <laughs> kind of 
kind of overshot that. I was getting a little overzealous. And then we hit a little bit of traffic here. Uh, which, again, this is the, the fast car move of, oh, the, the little slow car comes up behind you and well, I'll just take off in the straight and make up that gap. But um, here we are uphill. S is uh, right about, yeah, I think a little over 100 miles an hour again. And look, I'm catching up to this M4. And you can see my rear view, the uh, Hellcat. About that same distance. Maybe I get gained a little on through the S's. Um, you know, clearly I'm hitting these turns harder than this uh, M4, but rather than give me the point by, he just he's going to take off and I'll come up behind him again later in the session, which I don't think I'll show in this video. But here I give the Hellcat a point by. He can go chase the M4 for me. Sick the hounds on them, or the cats, I guess. But once again, I'll come up right behind them, um, trying to make up time now. So I come in a little bit hot, and uh, trail braking is a little much. So you can see a little correction there. And from here on out, he just kind of goes for it, uh, which he can do because his lap times are ultimately faster than mine just due to his immense speed on the street. So that was me messing around with the Hellcat. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.